Let me start with the spectacular news that uh, we all got earlier today, which is that the 2020 College Football Hall of Fame class has been announced, and a member of that class is former LSU great Glenn Dorsey. So Glenn Dorsey becomes the 10th former LSU player enshrined in the College Football Hall of Fame. A bunch of old guys who none of us got to see play. August Tinsley, Ken Cavanaugh, Abe McCall, Doc Fenton, and then of the modern era, Tommy Casanova, Billy Cannon, Jerry Stovall, Charles, Alexander, Burt Jones, and now uh, Glenn Putt Dorsey. Um, I am so excited for Glenn Dorsey. It's warranted. He was spectacular. This might sound absurd because of the recency bias, but Glenn Dorsey is defensively for LSU what Joe Burrow is for LSU. He won every award. Glenn Dorsey won four national awards in 2007. The Outland, the Lombardi, the Nagurski, and the Lot. He was the SEC Defensive Player of the Year. He was two-time first-team All-SEC. And passed on the NFL draft after the 2006 season to come back in 2007 to try to win a national title, and he succeeded. Glenn Dorsey is the greatest defensive player in the history of LSU football. And after 126 seasons of playing football, LSU has had now 10 players, only 10 players elected to the College Football Hall of Fame. And Glenn Dorsey is certainly worthy. The other thing that struck me about this, Glenn Dorsey's LSU career ended in 2007. So this now means from 2007 to 2020, there's a 13-year gap for Glenn from the time his college career ended to his election to the College Football Hall of Fame. When you look at some of the more recent electees or inductees from LSU, they had much longer waits. Burt Jones waited 44 years. Charles Alexander waited 34 years. Jerry Stovall waited 48 years from the end of his playing career to his induction into the College Football Hall of Fame. I'm glad Glenn only had to, had to wait 13 because it was totally justified. Um, congrats to Glenn Dorsey. The induction ceremony will happen in December in New York City at the NFF, the National Football Foundation uh, Annual Awards Dinner in New York City. Uh, I am pumped for Glenn Dorsey, having watched him play, uh, having covered him as a, uh, a a newbie on the LSU beat back in 2007. The first season I ever covered LSU football was 2007. And Glenn was always a great guy to deal with. He's as humble a superstar as you'd find. He went on to be the fifth overall pick of the Kansas City Chiefs and actually had a position change because the Chiefs had new management and they switched to a 3-4 and put Glenn as a zero technique nose. He never complained even though he was out of position and still managed to have a nine-year NFL career with the Chiefs and with the 49ers. And I am really pumped for Glenn Dorsey to have this honor. And I'm going to use this opportunity to stump for something for which I have stumped for many years since 2012. LSU has a mandatory five-year waiting period from the end of a player's eligibility until they can have their jersey retired. All of the same reasons so many people today are shouting appropriately that LSU should retire number nine and build a Joe Burrow statue, waive the five-year waiting period. And I'm totally in favor of that, by the way. 100% in favor of that. But all of those people who have been are saying that, and you should be, that has been my point about Glenn Dorsey now for almost 10 years. In 2012, the wait, the five-year waiting period expired, and Glenn Dorsey's jersey should have been retired then. Sometime in the 2013 season, Glenn Dorsey's jersey should have been retired. And it's not yet. And maybe it's because there hasn't been a formal nomination. If that's the case, that's a damn shame, and I'm going to nominate him. I just asked you, part of the nomination, I've actually looked into this. Part of the nomination process, you got to fill out the nomination. You have to have two letters of recommendation. I asked Jacob Hester when he walked out of here, would you write a letter of rec? Absolutely. I'll ask Jacob, and I'll ask Les Miles, one of his co one of his, uh, his teammates and his coach. It's, it, it is overdue and something that needs to be done, and I will tell you this as well. I think LSU, in the past decade, has done a 
fabulous job of honoring its past, more so than they did in the previous four decades. LSU has made a push to, to have more visible reminders celebrating its past. You walk outside of Tiger Stadium, on the wall right by the locker room, you see all of the national award winners. You go in front of Tiger Stadium, and you see the arches with the monuments to each of the national championship teams, the College Football Hall of Famers, the first-team All-Americans, All-SEC players. You go to Alec Box Stadium. They've now added the Skip Bertman statue. Of course, the Billy Cannon statue was dedicated. You look at uh, Mahmoud just had his jersey retired in basketball. In baseball, we've seen Todd Walker and Eddie Furness recently have their jerseys retired, adding to Ben McDonald and Skip Bertman. My point is, LSU has done a fantastic job in the last decade of catching up on a lot of lost time. And the buffer doesn't need to be there anymore for a guy like Glenn Dorsey. And one of the reasons that I will underscore is because of what recently happened with Dr. Cannon. Collectively, LSU waited and dragged its feet so long with the doctor with the Billy Cannon statue that he never got to experience it. He passed, unfortunately, before the statue was dedicated. And I'm not saying Glenn Dorsey is, <laughs> is close to that. Don't misunderstand. But why, why wait? Give me a reason why you should wait. And there isn't one. Let Glenn Dorsey, as a young man in his middle 30s, enjoy that honor which is deserved and enjoy it with his wife and with his children now and as they grow and forever. And every time he goes into Tiger Stadium, 72 should be there on the facade next to Billy Cannon's 20, Tommy Casanova's 37, and Jerry Stovall's 21. It took more than a half a century for LSU to retire Jerry Stovall's jersey. It, it shouldn't take as long. If Dr. Eddie Furness, Todd Walker, Simone Augustus, Sylvia Fowles, they've all had that honor already, and Glenn Dorsey is more than deserving. And it should already have happened. And maybe today, with this news of Glenn Dorsey being elected to the College Football Hall of Fame, maybe this will be the tidal wave that continues until his uh, induction in December that will allow this to happen. But it's absolutely something that should have happened by now. Congratulations to Glenn Dorsey, uh, the newest member of the College Football Hall of Fame, the 10th former LSU player to be elected. He'll be inducted in December. But he should also already be the fourth player with his jersey retired. And he and Joe Burrow should both follow suit very, very soon. Congrats to Glenn Dorsey. An awesome honor for him today. But that all LSU fans that watched 72, that cheered for him, that watched him point to the student section and wave as if to bring up the noise and everybody obliged. As far as a local guy who was an emotional leader of a team combined with the dominant force he was on the field, man, there's just there's nobody better to represent LSU than that guy. So congrats to Glenn Dorsey. And let's get 72 retired like yesterday.